Hello everybody, my name is the Somewhat Lonely Wanderer, and today we're doing a Tough Break contract. Let's see what we've got. I'm just going to decode it. Now this is just going to be some uh, unscripted commentary of a pre-recorded video. It was going to be live commentary on a recording, however my uh, voice recorder decided to crap out. So here we are. <laughs> so apologies if my... Uh, Universe doesn't look so good. Anyway, uh, I think we'll go with the slowdown of the general uh, <laughs> battle engineer uh, with the uh, frontier justice, the pistols, and of course the gunslinger. Seems like the best way to do it. Woo! Let's go. Okay, so what have we got? So we s you get contract points, CPs for scoring points as an engineer. One CP. Teleporting a teammate, 1 CP, and dispensing 500 health to teammates, 3 CP, and of course, the most point of this video, to score revenge crit kills, 5 CP, also advanced. Okay, so, I've just jumped onto a CTF server, oh not CTF, sorry, uh, CP server. It looks as though, and uh, we're actually in overtime, it looks as though we're about to lose, no, no, that's a spy. Uh, there we go, we're capturing the point, we're about to win here, putting down the teleporter, because why the hell not? Cool. Uh, flipping, anyone? Oh, no, that guy's gonna go. <laughs> Yay, flipping! Who wants to flip? Jump cut! Woo, let's go! Okay, so throwing down Tilly to get those uh, CP, so as always. And we're just gonna walk to the front line like uh, scrubs. I like the new tough break update. I don't know about you guys. If there are any, or <laughs> I'm so lonely. No, um, I, I like the new tough break update. I like the new skins. I like the uh, dress to kill uh, skins and the other classy ones. The McCabe, the McCabe skins. They're quite nice. Um, yeah, I like the Harvest skins. Um, oh, the war, the Warbird skins are okay. Yeah. And uh, the Powerland slash Burning ones, I, I, I'm glad that they added them to it. Now every class can kind of have a Pyroland-ish outfit kind of thing. You know, because you, you, before you'd have your Pyroland Pyro with the Pyrovision, the, uh, what, what's the time for a call that's, uh, it's like a big tuba. That thing. Um, yeah, whatever. That thing, and uh, you'd have the Fist of Flare Gun, or Fist of Shotgun. And uh, you'd have your fist of, uh, not your fist of, you'd have the lolly chop and you'd have the backpack. But now every class can kind of have that semi uh, Pyroland outfit. Sorry, it's nice to work being a commentator. Uh, every class can kind of have that Pyroland ba uh, childish baby thing. Well, scoring points there. Uh, childish babyish thing. And I, I like the skins themselves as well. The burny ones, not so much, I think those are horrible, quite frankly, but hey, <laughs> everyone's got their own opinions, I'm sure the creator of them doesn't think that. And, uh, well, yeah, the, I, I do like the new fancy skins, I've personally got a factory new uh, dress called Wrench, which I love. I've got a strange uh, block for the wrench, but I like this better. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! What is that bullshit? That was like point, no, not point blank, but, okay, that was full on. Come on! Oh, oh boy, why like competition? Anyway, um, but as you can see, putting the pistol to good use there. Okay, so we've got a sentry going up. That's uh, useful. There we go. Uh, my sentry's about to die, give that a whack. Whack my drink. And uh, keep moving. Um, as, you, as you can see, the channel, if I can call it that, I've posted something like three videos now, will be, uh, I'll put it under some changes. Um, I've decided to start using a voice editor because I personally hate this thing to uh, pre uh, uh, pre pre teenager voices. Uh, they're very squeaky like mine. So I've decided to start using a voice changer just to save yours. Uh, save your ears. I, I personally think. Oh, I personally don't like watching videos that have that kind of voice in them, and I think I think most people are the same. That's fine. No, it's not. Um, so. Also, as you can see, I've got uh, new SFM intros and outros, and hopefully I'll be starting to post a few more videos more regularly. Uh, <laughs> my uncreating video was quite frankly a bit of a cheap state video, but hey. 
Uh, I still didn't really know what I wanted to do at that point. Um, I may be redoing my How to Battle Medic video, uh, probably just taking it down, applying a voice module to it, maybe putting it back up, I'm not really sure. Still yet to be decided on that one, I might get rid of it entirely. Um, artwork, I'm going to be replacing that with uh, more SFM work. Um, it's fun, yes. Um, anyway, let's talk about the load that I'm currently using. I don't see many engineers equipping their pistol. <laughs> Poor heavy. I don't see many. Oh, there's a health pack right here, you idiot. I don't see many engineers equipping the pistol, and I'm not sure entirely why that is. For me, the pistol is the best secondary available. Yes, uh, secondary available for the uh, engineer. I personally don't see any use for the Wrangler. I know, it, I know, on some maps and for some people, it's some like a infinite. Indestructible. Oh, that was a dead ringer. Why do I get points for that? Uh, it's basically indestructible for some people, but it's to me it's just I prefer to have it on auto while I go do things. And another reason I often use the pistols that I generally am either equipping, of course, as you can see here, the Frontier Justice or the uh, what's it called? The Rescue Ranger. Come on, come on. Oh, Risk. That's the same guy from before, isn't it? <laughs> must, feel good. must feel good to get revenge. Uh, or the Rescue Ranger. Uh, and of course, neither of these weapons are particularly battle safe and savvy. Um, the Frontier Justice, of course, is when you have crits, but uh, it's only got three shots in the magazine, meaning that without the crits, you're pretty useless. And of course, the Rescue Ranger isn't. isn't. <laughs> oh, here we are on blue. That's definitely a spy. There we go, bring the pistol to good use, eh? <laughs> and uh, Rescue Ranger, of course. Same pistol OP. Not Volvo, Volvo, is not. Anyway, um, Rescue Ranger, of course, you don't want to be using that in a battle. That's, it's, it may as well be called the, uh, may as well be called the sniper rifle or shotguns, I guess you could say. It, because it fires bolts, that's uh, quite interesting. It does only about 20 damage, but, yeah, it heals the centuries, which is why I generally top it. Um, and, so that's my talk on secondaries. Of course, uh, of course, there's always the, uh, always the short circuit for when you want to do that, when you're playing ultra defensive engineer, but I personally see no use for that. It's very finicky to use, in my opinion. It doesn't, it's not good in battle. <laughs> so, and me, I usually use the rescue ranger, so it's not, yeah. Um, and I just think it's not a particularly useful weapon. I mean, there are just better secondaries than the short circuit, which is quite best to take on it. And, uh, for wrenches, I don't, I, well, the wrenches are all pretty good, actually. You've got the Eureka effect, which is good for first setup, when you're in defense and you're sitting up, because uh, you can teleport back, of course, onto the board, etc, etc. Um, and you've got the uh, Jag, which is good for sitting up, not in starting time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but the uh, faster building setups. Oh, that's a waste of crit. Um, anyway, um, and of course you've got the Southern Hospitality, which is an interesting uh, interesting weapon to say the least. Um, yeah, um, Southern Hospitality of course. It's yeah, it makes uh, enemies bleed on hit. <laughs> it makes enemies bleed on hit. But it does give you last time it gave you fire. You take more damage from fire. And I'm not sure whether that's changed in the gunmetal slash tough break. Uh, not one take. Uh, no, Gunmetal slash tough break uh, updates where it seems as though everything that's you only take more damage from one source. You seem to be taking damage from all the sources now, which is definitely a good thing for matchmaking because it makes all the uh, classes a bit more fair. That's a spy, and that's a good use of a crit if I ever saw one. Anyway, um, hmm, yes. Yes, yeah, so I like the new changes to the in the tough break update. The new skins, yeah, they're good. Uh, gameplay update, flog, flog, yeah, uh, hopefully there'll be a video coming, uh, by me, <laughs> hopefully I'll be putting out a new video on the fog sooner or later, if that requires a bit of scripting, which makes it a bit uh, less desirable for me, just, uh, back my junk of it there, give it a bit of an upgrade, um, you know, I don't know why I decided to, um, buff the flog, but it looks as though I'd be staying that way now, everyone kind of expected that within a day or two, it would be changed back, but it looks as though Volvo is definitely very, uh, 
set that this is how the fork is going to be like from now on. Because we've had a couple minor updates of um, just general bug fixes and they haven't fixed it yet. So either they're all really deaf or it's staying that way. And I think it's the latter rather than the former. Oh, I dropped them all the bits there. Um, but jump cut. Uh, uh, later rather than the former. Just, it doesn't seem, the fog now requires a lot more skill to play against. Like when, oh, that was a waste. Damn my mouse. Uh, that was, uh, the fog now requires a lot more skill to play against. And I say that, but it really, oh, but it really just means that you run away when you see that, per when you see, um, oh, there we go. It just means that you run away when it becomes stupid. That's uh, really all it is. Um, what else we've got? The pyro in general seems to have gotten a bit of a buff. Um, it's a bit of an earth, a bit of a buff. Um, yeah, I should make a video on that. No, I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm, yes. So, it looks like we're getting on a bit with the contract. We're going on to the advanced objectives now. We've got two crits, let's go hunting. Let's find a medic or something. Seems to be a lot more medics on the field these days. Uh, I don't know why that is. I've just noticed a few more of them around that pub stomping as it is. Anyway, so back to the channel. Looks as though hopefully it'll be, uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, oh, what am I saying? War. Uh, it'll be a bit more renovated soon. I'll have some more artwork put up. Uh, it's a fair mark Hopefully just making the videos a bit more professional, etc. Yeah, that's good. That's just good. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. So, mini sentry up. And did you see that? That was weird. But my first shot went through an empty hitbox or something. That was really weird. Did you guys see that? That was definitely awkward, so at least. Anyway, um, maybe it's like conversation. Anyway, so, uh, Fallout 4, everybody. Fallout 4? I don't know if I can make this up. But you, the, 2015 was a good year for games. Oh, I, oh, I was about to say I was going to make that, make it out of very life. Uh, for the, uh, 2015, good year for games. We had a lot of blockbusters getting released. I'm not sure if we'll be like that next year, but it seems as though we had a lot of things come out this year. Like, uh, of course, we've had all the hype around Overwatch. We've had Fallout 4, which is a massive thing. I've already... I only got it a few days ago, and I've already... Oh, I don't know. I've, you know, whatever. Whatever, more of it. Uh, already sunk uh, over a day into it. It's insane. I love it. A bit laggy, but whatever. That's a spy. No, it's not. Um, and, of course, we had Overwatch. We had Star Wars Battlefront, which is a bit of a letdown, but, uh, hey... <laughs> It's still pretty fun, it's uh, yeah. Oh, Overwatch again, because Overwatch is amazing. Um, what else did we have? I'm missing something in this way. I'm sure I'm missing something. Anyway. Yeah, good. Big game for blockbusters. Hmm. <laughs> What's a spy? Hmm. <laughs> that can't be a bit of a front there. Like, Rocky. Hmm. Yeah, the girl looks like we're about to win this round, which is completely useless. Which is, uh, doesn't give you any points, but hey! You're gonna be like that game? So why? Hmm. Well. Sorry for being a bit quiet. Uh, taking a drink there. Uh, Sweet, there we go, another round done. So it looks as though we've had to have a bit of a drink up. Okay. Yay, flipping! Let's go! Jump cut! Woo! Let's go! Okay, same map. We're already getting spawn camped, which is always a good thing. Throw down that sentry. It's interesting to see how people react to many sentries being thrown down in the heat of battle. Which about that. Uh, a lot of people go for sentry first and then attempt to take out the engineer. Of course, it never works like that because they get mauled by the sentry and then get blasted in the face by the engineer. It's a bit like the uh, heavy pocket medic 
equation where you you're gonna die either way, but it's better for your team to take out the enemy medic first. Oh, here's a prime example of uh, anti uh, <laughs> anti sentry technique using a mini sentry. They do quite a bit of damage with their fast firing rate. Fast firing rate is quite helpful in the sentry equation because uh, <laughs> oh, that's a spike. Uh, because the faster firing rate allows you to do more damage before the engineer can get back to his sentry, which is uh, very helpful. It's really only helpful if you have the uh, range one. For the reason for the range one. Alright, back to the heavy sentry equation. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the heavy sentry equation. Um, we have. Yeah, so you have the heavy. Oh, I died there. Jump cut! We have the heavy and the medic, and you always take out the medic first, of course, most people know this. Um, yeah. It's a bit like that with the mini century battle engineer, uh, whereas you always take out, you're gonna die both ways, but the engineer can keep throwing down mini centuries, whereas the sentry can't keep throwing down the battle engineers. So you always take out the battle wall, oh, this is, uh, yes. dun, 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 dun. Anyway, um, thanks for that, soldier. Unknown soldier. But, uh, yeah. So you just took some tricks, Black Star Co. official, yep, that gets the Black Star Co. seal of approval. Of course, we're funded by Black Star Co. By the Black Star Corporation, Oh, oh watch this. Um, anyway, so, we're good. Look, we're doing okay on the, uh, advanced part of the contract, it's just very annoying. Very uh, long window. This is, uh, quite a bit of gameplay for not much benefit. Hopefully I should be coming out with another contract video. Hopefully a bit shorter than this one. Man, one of my first contracts this time around was a demo night contract, which is a bit cynical considering that they just uh, nerfed the de uh, demo night. Sucks. If it wasn't for my uh, need to get a gold on my badge, I wouldn't be going for these extra objectives. I'd have uh, something like nine contracts, eight contracts I've completed. Six of them have been crates. Because fun. Yeah, I think uh, Volvo might have increased the uh, crate drop on contracts, which is somewhat incredibly annoying. Screw you, Volvo. <laughs> he did battle. Oh, bullshit. I took him out, don't worry. Jump cut. Very badly timed. Took him out. Okay, so we've got one kill on the sentry, that's good. Two kills on the sentry, that's even better. So we've got four crits stored up, I reckon that's enough to go kill somebody. Get another few points. Ooh. There we go. And use. Oh, balls. That sucks. Man. Oh. I think that spy just disappeared. Anyway. That's not, that's not. I gave him one. So what do you guys think of contracts? Do you think they're just a shameless way to get people to give Volvo money? I do think it's a bit ridiculous that uh, you pay, what, uh, in New Zealand, you, it's something like $10 for a contract pass, and then... You finish your contract and oh, that was really badly planned. Uh, you finish your contract and you have just unlocked the right to give us four dollars. You're welcome. And it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. And the crate should the crates that drop from contracts should be pre-unlocked. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous that you give Volvo ten dollars, New Zealand dollars. That's not worth much of your American dollars. And then you have to give them more money to get your rewards. It's just it's not right. Anyway, so we've got some crits, so I'm not getting murdered by this heavy, who doesn't see me, which is good. Oh, this looks like a juicy free-to-play target. Dun, 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 dun. Bang! Shazam! Another five points, and it looks as though we've just passed the halfway mark. I'm dead, but that's okay. We'll do a jump cut. Okay, we're back on CP something or other. Oh, where's my mouse going again? CP something or other. And uh, I've joined halfway through a match, unfortunately. Um, but here we go. And swipe or drunk a bit. This is an interesting map. I like all the maps in the new Tough Blake update. They're all very smooth. Like uh, the Gun Middle campaign and the Tough Break campaign. Both had very good maps to go with them. And I think I find it funny how personally I hated the new Halloween maps. They just seemed very confusing and like Valve complained. Valve didn't put the train map into the game because it was confusing. Whereas it was just a PL map. Oh, not really here. Oh, uh, CP attack, defend. But, and then they put things like the Halloween map in, Halloween maps. 
I don't know about you guys, but I, that's a spy and a half, and he's trying to trick me. Well, let's get down there. I personally found that the Halloween maps were incredibly, oh, that was a lucky break. And of course, for the moment, might as well go back and put up another sentry. Nope, I'm gonna die. Yay! Anyway, I found the Halloween maps very, very confusing, in that they, they just seem to sell as, you can go this way, or this way, or this way, or this way, or this way. And there's no real pattern to them. Like I found that I could only really play the PL maps, and then and then only just they weren't particularly enjoyable. And uh, invasion was a bit weird as well. With uh, invasion was definitely very weird, especially with its uh, only cosmetics. That was <gasps> oh, it's official, everybody. Taunts now prevent fire damage. This game is now officially pay to play. Grab some health and let's move out. Anyway, yes, the last few updates have been a bit lackluster, like the invasion update. Maps were good on the invasion update, they were cool. Some of them were just three skins. I did like the new arena map, so a lot of new people playing arena while the invasion update was going. Which is good, I love arena. It's good for spies. My main, of course. And, um. But I didn't like how there was a pass, but no skins. Skin, weapon skins. I mean, I know that there were the shooting. Oh, and it looks like we've just completed the contracts. It looks as though we're coming to the end of this video. Anyway, I liked how there was uh, the shooting. St I, I knew that there were shooting stars and things, but I didn't like how it was just a few very high tier weapon skins. Anyway, <laughs> he's shown up by the demo man who thinks out where the spy is. Me being a spy man, of course, has no idea where the spy is. Anyway! Looks it like it's about time to wrap up the video, actually. We'll just disconnect. Okay! Woo! Let's, uh, submit the results. And we'll see what we get. I'm closing my eyes. Let's go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on!